All right, next problem. Use zero through fourth order Taylor series expansions to predict the function value at 2.5 for a function of f of x is equal to ln of x using a base point at x is equal to 1. Compute the true percent relative error for each approximation and then discuss the meaning of the results. So here is the solution. So in here, we are trying to solve for ln of 2.5 without directly using the calculator. Instead, we will be using the Taylor series expansions to approximate the function value at that point. But recall that to use such theorem, we need to know the function value at a certain point and the derivative value at, uh, at a certain point as well. Okay, so we need to know the first derivative. In this case, this is equal to 1 over x. The second derivative is equal to negative 1 over x squared. The third derivative is equal to 2 over x cubed. The fourth derivative is equal to negative 6 over x raised to 4. And the fifth derivative is equal to 24 over x raised to 5. Okay, but if we're going to use x is equal to 0 as our base point, the function and its derivatives are not defined because obviously the, the x variable is located in the denominator. Therefore, if we um, substitute x is equal to 0, then the function becomes indeterminate or not defined. Therefore, we will use another base point value such that uh, the function and its derivatives are defined. So we will use x is equal to 1. The function value at that point is equal to 0 because ln of 1 is equal to 0. The first derivative value is 1 and the derivative values at that point x is equal to 1 are given. And then let's try to present the uh, no, um, the true value of ln of 2.5 using our calculator. So ln of 2.5 is actually equal to 0 0.9163. And then let's compare this with our approximation later on. Okay. So let's write the Taylor series expansion for f of x is equal to ln of x. This is given as f of x sub 0 plus h is equal to ln of x. And that is equal to, so, uh, i-replace na lang natin yung mga given na uh, function and derivative of the function uh, equations. Okay? Then, we need not to simplify kasi meron naman tayong mga known values of the function at a certain point and the derivative values of the said function. Okay? For the first order approximation, the um, function value at 2.5. So, in here, we are trying to solve for f of 2.5. So, x sub 0 is 1. Therefore, h is equal to 1.5. So the first order approximation is 0 plus 1 times 1.5 and that is equal to 1.5. So comparing that to the true value of 0 0.9163, the relative error is actually equal to 63.70%. That's too big. Okay. How about if we perform second order approximation? So the second order approximation is equal to 0 plus 1 times 1.5. We only need to add another term that requires uh, the third derivative. Third derivative ba? Okay. Second derivative pala. Okay. So the second order approximation is equal to 0 0.375. And comparing that to the true value, the error is 59.07%. For the third order approximation, the function value is equal to uh, 0 plus 1 times 1.5 plus 1.5 square all over 2 factorial times negative 1 plus the term that 
uh, that that is associated with the third derivative is equal to 1.5 raised to 3 all over 3 factorial times 2. Okay, note again that h is equal to 1.5 and x sub 0 is 1. Okay, so the third order approximation is 1.5. Therefore, the um, error is 63.70%. Pumalik tayo sa ano, error associated with the first order approximation. So, basically, hindi nag-reduce ang ating error. How about if you perform fourth order approximation? So, the fourth order approximation of this function is equal to Uh, 0 0.2344, okay, with a relative error of 74.42%. So, from 63.7%, mas lumaki pa siya to 74.42%. How about if you perform fifth order approximation? Although this is not uh, necessary because the problem requires only up to fourth order Taylor series expansion. But for ano, comparison purposes lang, let's determine or let's find out if the error has increased. Okay? So that's equal to 1.753 and therefore the relative error has, has, has ballooned to 91.31%. So what does this tell us? It tells us that as the order of approximation is increased, the relative error diverges. Okay? But this is not the case for 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 all functions, okay? This is only true for a function ln of x and a base point of x is equal to 1, okay, for these given conditions. So, how are we going to solve such problem para mag-converge yung ating uh, solution? Okay, so let's now proceed to the next slide. So, in this slide, I will be showing to you how the choice of an appropriate base point and the order of approximation affect the approximated value. So let me show you. Recall that the Taylor series expansion of the function ln of x is given. And then if we're going to do the first order approximation, having uh, this base point, x is equal to 1, the first order approximated value is 1.5, the relative error is 63.7%. And actually, if we perform the same uh, order with a different base point, the value is equal to 0.9431 with a relative error of 2.925% only. Okay, so medyo nag-jump siya to a relatively lower na relative error. How about if we change the base point into 2.1 or 2.10? And then same lang din ang order of, of approximation. The approximated value is 0 0.9324 with a relative error of 1.757%. Okay? Nag-improve uh, yun ang, ano, yung ato ang approximation. And furthermore, if we choose a base point of uh, 2.4, then the approximated value is equal to 0.9171 with a relative error of less than zero per ah, hindi naman zero, less than zero but greater than zero but less than one percent okay and lastly if we if we choose a base point of 2.45 the approximated value becomes 0.9165 and the relative error um, improves to 0.0218 percent now, let's perform the second order uh, approximation. Then let's choose the same base points. Okay, so here are the approximated value. So x, at x is equal to 1, the approximated value is 0.375, a relative error of 59.07%. Okay, malaki pa rin siya. Next, if x is equal to 2, the approximated value is 0.9119, a 
the relative error is now less than 1%. Okay? Nag-change lang tayo ng base point at saka nag-increase tayo ng order of approximation, nag-improve na kaagad ang ating relative error. So, how much more if we uh, choose a base point that is near to uh, 2.5? Diba? So, let's see. So, at x equal to 2.10, the relative error becomes 1.757%. Then, at x is equal to 2.40, um, relative error is 1.757%. And, at x is equal to 2.45, the relative error becomes 0%. Then, if we perform the third order approximation, here are the results. So, we can see in here that at x is equal to 2 for a third order approximation, the relative error is very low na siya. Okay? And then, we have reached a very low relative error at uh, x is equal to to 2.10 and then nag zero na siya at x is equal to 2.40 then at the fourth order approximation ito naman yung result okay so makita din natin na nag improve na yung ating approximated value so in conclusion it can be seen that the choice of an appropriate base point affects the relative error Okay, so makita natin na yung point of interest is 2.5 but if we choose an appropriate base point that is somehow near to 2.5 then the approximated value is ano, um, somehow low ang kanyang error. Okay, moreover as the order of approximation is increased it can be expected that the relative error is also decreased okay thereby approaching to the true answer and in other words if the answer is if the approximation is um, near to the true answer then the relative error approaches to a value of zero okay i think that's it thank you so much